So here's the process of restoring an old door. You must take care when doing this. Use your health and safety rules definitely apply. You need some basic tools, a few consumables, and only a couple of new products. So it's a solid exterior pine door, now replaced with a UPVC door in order to improve our building. Preparation is by sanding, lots of it. You have to remove all the old paint, it's best to use power tools. This is part of property improvements. Our garden is much improved, but that's another story. So to the torching, I carried out some research on this aspect. There are three types of burn, a light, medium and deep burn. Basically, the more you torch it, the darker it gets. We prefer a light burn and how it accentuates the grain. So steady burning, it's best to back off or move on from an area if you see too much flame. And the last thing we want to do is set it on fire. So it's imperative to stay well within the combustion temperature of the wood. Torching requires a cautious approach, so use the torch lightly. Develop the grain to the colour of your liking. In this case, I want to make every knot look wonderful, so it really is best not to overdo it. Once torched, you'll need to give it a light wire brushing. This blends the wood, creating consistency of the burn in readiness for the finish. You can achieve similar effects by applying wood dyes, oils or polishes, but we prefer the value option of lacquer. We think it's the best way to preserve and protect the beauty of the wood. Lacquer, instead of varnish or polyurethane coating, is water-based, so cleaning is easy and you don't need lots of PPE. The lacquer was applied in three coats with a brush on both sides with a couple of hours of drying time between each coat. The result is a great finish that protects the door whilst retaining a vintage look and it has a tactile, almost leathery feel to the touch. It feels great. So removing the existing door and replacing it with the nicely scorched and refurbished old door, by using architrave or wood mouldings, we can improve the frame itself to blend it into the building. Nice new hinges, a catch and some hinge fronts all help to give plenty of character. All of these products are readily available. As you know, the internet makes sourcing products a pretty straightforward process. But all in all, this is definitely an improvement. And each step of this job has been enjoyable and of course, cost conscious. So if you have an old door, or perhaps thinking about restoring or repurposing an old piece of furniture, then I would encourage you to give it a go. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.